happy Friday guys. I just made you a video a little while ago, but I wanted to make you another one because this is something I've been wanting to make for you guys. Um, oh gosh, uh, at least a month, if not longer. Um, I had posted these on Instagram after I purchased them and many of you wanted a video on them. So here it is after I've been able to sit and read through them. And I'm just going to say I am absolutely in love with these books. All right. This is a book collection by um, Julia Rothman. It is called the Julia Rothman Collection and it is Food Anatomy farm anatomy and nature anatomy and this collection if you buy the box set also comes with artwork that you can actually frame um, which I'm going to do for our homeschool room eventually so I'll go through that and I'll show you that but I found these books on a tag that I follow on Instagram I follow quite a few homeschoolers as well as um, elementary school teachers and I follow a tag called make learning fun and that's where I first found these and I was like what are those those look so cool so of course I had to ask mr. Google pants and um, then I had to turn to YouTube and lo and behold, one of the gals that I have been subscribed to forever in a day, in fact, I think I subscribed to her when I st first started homeschooling, so it's been quite a while now, and I'm going to give her channel a shout out, Sodbuster Living. If you guys don't follow her, go over there and check out her channel. She does some fantastic videos, um, and she also does some pantry videos, so if you love uh, pantry and halls and homeschooling. She is your gal. She's got still, uh, not a small channel, but, um, I would definitely like to send some of my wonderful people her way. So if you go over there and subscribe to her, uh, tell her Meaty sent you. And I will leave her link. I'll leave her link in a card above as well as down below. But she had a wonderful, video review on these and as soon as I watched her review I'm like okay girl you sold me <laughs> I gotta buy them so I ordered mine off of Amazon I will leave the link down below I know how you guys like links um so here we go we're gonna open these up and I'm going to just give you a quick preview now there's many people that do much better reviews than I do I really don't do reviews very well I just share what I really like so First and foremost, the food anatomy, because you know I'm a foodie. <laughs> the curious parts and pieces of our edible world. This book, oh my gosh, you guys, it is so cool. So it is chocked full of just wonderful things. Once in a while, you'll get a recipe. Um, look at how to make vinegar in five steps. All about mustard cold press a oh, look at this creamy maple mocha pudding um, pizza all about pizza all different types of pizza I mean she shares everything on here New York style Sicilian pizza New Jersey tomato pie Chicago deep dish Look at Detroit pizza is even on here <laughs> so cool I every chance I get I sit down and I read this because these books are just you know they're I guess they're meant for children but for me they're really great for adults too I mean it has everything in here an anatomy of a food truck five styles of meat on a stick <laughs> Hot dogs. Look at all the different kinds of hot dogs you can get. All about American cheese and cheese curds. She lists all the different types types of cheeses. This is fantastic for kids, but I'm telling you, as an adult, I love this just as much. Real deal buttermilk pancake recipe. So look at terms of the trade. The differences between buttermilk, cream, cultures, curds, homogenization, pasteurization, raw milk, rennet, and whey. Milk made math, average percentage of a butter fat from European butter, American butter, cream, heavy cream, medium cream, light cream, half and half, whole milk, reduced fat, 2% milk, butter milk, low fat milk, and skim milk. I mean, just so much, all different kinds of ways to cook eggs. Um, 
poultry terms. Weight, different parts of a chicken. They have, even in here, um, and I might have missed it, they even have different parts of a pig, which I could have really used when we, um, when we got our first pig. Fish. I mean, just so much, you guys. All about knives. It's amazing. It's amazing. There's just so much information. All different kinds of pasta noodles. Sandwiches. Sandwich breads. How to make bread. All different kinds of rice. All different kinds of grains. I mean, anything that you want to know about food, just the basics. Look at bean varieties. You guys know I love my beans. Um, salads. All different types of leaves and it's just, it's fantastic. So this is the food one. They even go through different kinds of stoves, through the, through the different eras, different tools. Look at this. Spoons, forks. I mean, just really cool. And then there's the timeline. So my kids have been loving this. I have been loving reading this to them and going through this with them. It's just a lot of fun. Farm Anatomy is the same way. I know I'm starting from the back. I'm sorry, guys, because the way I have to have the camera so you guys can see the light and not shadows. <laughs> so uh, bear with me. But look at this. Making candles, making rugs, shades of, of different colors, maple syrup, maple fudge, oven lamb stew, there we are, prime cuts of beef. Oh, this might be with the pork. The pork might have been in here. Um, the basics of bread making. You guys know I love this, right? Just different tools of the of the how of the home. Everything you can think of. All different kinds of animals in here. Um, all about milk, birds, chickens. Apples, herb bread, all different varieties of tomatoes and how to grow them, all different kinds of vegetables, how to build a bean teepee, which I hope to do this year. <laughs> and, I mean, it's just fantastic. Here's the average dates of autumn frost and spring frost. Just fantastic information. Like I said, as an adult, I mean, how to build chicken coops and... Barns, weather, oh, it's fantastic. So that's the farm anatomy. And then there's a nature anatomy. My kids really love this one because they learn about so much in here. My kids really love the animals. So here's all different kinds of shells, all different kinds of sea life, all about frogs. Mason really enjoyed that one. Owls, all different kinds of birds and bird nests some bird feathers. Just really good information. Look at black bear versus a grizzly bear. What's the difference? Some people might not know this. Look at the anatomy of a bat. Rotting logs and what lives inside them. Just really fun. I mean, you know, I know they sell these books separately, but if you can buy them in a set, I would do that just because I don't think one is better than the other. I think they're all three are equally fantastic. All different kinds of wildflowers, the constellations, sunsets, rainbows, all different kinds of snowflakes, thunderstorms and tornadoes, water cycles. It's fantastic. And if you do any of the... Um, any of the good and the beautiful Looking you know up real they, fast here they have a whole meteorology uh, they have a whole meteorology unit study that you can do with your children so um, let's see we'll go back um, they have meteorology the energy the space science water beginning chemistry energy um, the human body I mean you could really I've got the marine biology one 
and you could really, and I've got the safety one, um, but you could really pair those up with these books, um, especially if you were doing a unit study with multiple children um, and paired up with these books. Uh, it would be fantastic. So, guys, I just love them. So, I'm going to show you the um, cardstock now that you can actually frame in little frames, which is what I plan to do. And, um, decorate our homeschool room with them so these are common barn styles this came as a bonus when you buy the box set tree identification there's all different kinds of herbs i mean you can even decorate your kitchen with these look at that comb styles of roosters wildflowers parts of a horse beautiful feathers Short order egg lingo. <laughs> so cute. These would be really cute in a kitchen. Anatomy of a food truck and a Sunday anatomy. So really cute, really, really cute stuff, guys. Um, so I'm going to leave a link down below to this, this box set that I got um, just because it came with the cards in case you were interested in the, in these photo, um, in these photos that you can actually frame but I absolutely love them the kids love them Matt thinks they're super cool he's been sitting down and reading through those they're just really interesting they teach you a lot so I wanted to just give these books a shout out I also wanted to give Sodbuster Living a shout out because I love her channel and um like I said I would love to have you guys if you guys are interested in anything that she does head on over there and uh, subscribe to her let her know that Needy sent you. And uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to get to homeschooling. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to wish you all a very, very happy Mother's Day. I have my oldest son um, coming up to spend the weekend with me. So I'm super excited about that. My other kiddos had to work. Ah, uh, That's okay. Um, they're coming up though for Memorial Day weekend. So, and they're going to help me build my garden. <laughs> so I will have to make that video for you guys to just kind of an update on my plants. I've got my herbs now uh, planted. I have some flowers planted. My tomatoes are doing, my tomato plants are, are doing really well, but they're getting so big they need to go outside. But tonight we're having a frost freeze warning here uh, in northern Michigan. So all of my, all of my pots now have to go into the garage. So I don't know. Winter will not let go here in Michigan. <laughs> So hopefully soon I'll be I'll be able to start on my garden. Um, but I will be seeing you guys probably next week, maybe for a video on that. If you have any questions, just leave them down below for me and um, I'll be seeing you. All right. Bye, guys.